When you have a player with the requisite size and talent and skills and the ticker that he has, the desire that he has, that's good enough to be the face of your franchise, even in a market like New York City, Stephen A. Smith. Let me tell you something, Max. My answer is no. I'm not sold yet. And I like him a lot. He's got promise. I'm not questioning, um, you know, his desire, how he's going to go at it. I'm certainly not underestimating his ability to improve because I think he's going to put in the work. I'm not saying I don't believe in him. I'm going to look at a guy like Kevin Knox. Only averaged like 12.8 points last year. Came on in the second half of the season. I'm going to look at him. I'm going to look at Dennis Smith Jr., guys like that. But I'm also looking at R.J. from this perspective. We don't talk about this enough. Yes, he averaged 22. He shot worse from three-point range than Zion Williamson. Shot 30% from three-point range. There were plenty of, there were plenty of times, you know, uh, you know, when I looked for him to show up whether it's against Carolina in a loss when he scored 26 points, but he shot the ball 27 times, hit 10 or 27 shots. There were a, a few shots down the stretch I was looking for him to make. Didn't happen. Michigan State NCAA tournament, looking for him to make some shots. He didn't do it. I'm looking at those kind of things. I know that R.J. Barrett can get his numbers. I know that he is skilled. He is no scrub. I know he's got the heart of a lion. He ain't scared. He ain't scared of big moments. He wants it. And I love the fact that the Knicks got him because I think his personality is made. I think the personality that he has is what you have to have in order to succeed at Madison Square Garden mm -hmm. 41 nights a year. I'll give him that. But I'm talking about his game, watching his game, wondering about that right hand and its usage, whether his ability to be ambidextrous, use both hands, not just handling the rock, but get to the basket, finishing at the basket. He can score from the perimeter, but he's not a perimeter scorer. He can score from the outside shooting, but he's not a shooter. And so when I look at it from that perspective, I see a lot of cats on the NBA level that has the potential to put somebody like that on lock and key. So, I'm, again, I'm optimistic about him. I'm happy the Knicks got him. Huh? All of that's true, and I believe he's going to put in the work, and I got total faith in him in terms of him. He ain't going to shortchange us with effort, but his game, Max, his game. Okay, I don't feel that way about his game at all. Yeah. I think he's a bull. That's, that's where I'm at with it. That's where I I'm at with it. I feel very confident R.J. Barrett – is going to make multiple all-star teams in his career. And I feel, look, let's look at a, let's look at a graphic of uh, some of the Knicks' picks of recent years. See how that panned out, Stephen A. Okay. This is well, since 2014. Yeah. Got you. Chris Stapp's Porzingis yeah, is the not best one, and he's hurt, right? I mean, and, 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 and by the way, part of that is because Chris Stapp's Porzingis was taken fourth. Do you realize the Knicks haven't taken – a guy in the draft as high as R.J. Barrett since the first draft lottery, since Patrick Ewing, who went one overall. Stephen A., my whole life in the draft lottery since Ewing, we've never had a top pick on the Knicks. Excuse me, you've never had. I've given up the Knicks. The point is, now you pick in the top three, this is what happens. You get a star player. You get a star player whose floor is likely all-star, like R.J. Barrett. And by the way, you're concerned that he's not ambidextrous enough. You mentioned it the other day. If you have a player about whom you're concerned, hey, he only goes left, and it turns out he's actually right-handed, doesn't that make you a little more comfortable? Doesn't that make you believe that's not going to no. be an issue forever? You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will tell you why it doesn't make me comfortable, Max, because if you're right-handed, I'm wondering why the hell I never saw you use it. That doesn't make sense to me. Logically, I mean, I'll go to your route spot, Kellerman. I mean, logically, if you're right-handed, how is it that I never saw you use your damn right hand? Uh, that, that's a concern. I'm wondering about that. That's very, very strange. That's like a boxer. That, 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 let, let's say the hitman got the right hand, Max, all right? But all he throws is left hooks. What sense does that make? That doesn't make sense. Not a lot. I don't understand something like that. You know, so I'm just looking at it. I get where you're coming from in terms of not being concerned. I'll go the reverse route. I, 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 should, I should have seen it more. I don't give a damn about what he says he is. I know what I saw. And so when I'm looking at him on the NBA level, and also remember this, Zion goes down for a few games. He's the man. Cam Reddish admitted he was eating too many pizzas, wasn't in the greatest shape in the world. So R.J. Barrett had to hold down the fort. When you are a shooter, Max, 
you can share, you can, you can be, you know, you, you know, you can, you can be, you can share actually and do some things. The problem is when you're a scorer, you usually need volume. And on the Knicks, I'm not sure if he's gonna have the license to have you know that what? level of volume. You, keep, you know, and that's what that, that's under to be concerned about as well. You're agitating for the Knicks to make a major signing. I just wanna and I don't anticipate they will. I want to point something out to you. RJ Barrett, I'm hopeful. Mitchell Robinson, uh, Dennis Smith Jr., Kevin Knox, mm -hmm. Nilakita. Yeah. Dude, that's a good, young, ascending, very young, ascending nucleus of players to add on to. You take don't need to run out and, take that and try to get some kind list. of free agent. Take that damn Neela Kina off that list. Don't you come here on national television talking to me about Frank Neela Kina. Does he play, I mean, defense? He play defense? He's got long yeah. arms and he can play defense. Yes, he does. Yeah. I'm not talking about I wasn't talking about it. I wasn't questioning his defense. I know he can defend. But I'm talking about somebody that's a presence on the offensive end. I don't want to hear about that dude. It was back page news when he scored 15 points. Back page news in New I'm, York. I'm not because saying he scored Kina, 15 points. That's I'm not how saying much of a Mila miracle. Kina's the Why? answer, I'm saying he's a good young player and part of a real rotation. I'm saying the Knicks have ascending, have interesting young pieces right now. Mm -hmm. So Knicks fans, and I'm not among you anymore, but Knicks fans, even, if, even when you strike out in free agency, all is not lost. Yeah. Okay. Got RJ Barrett. Listen, you, you if RJ Barrett lives up we, to his potential, got, he Molly. can be the face of a franchise. Yep. Is that fair, hey, Stephen hey, Molly, A? If he Molly, lives up to Ma his potential, Max, face of the yeah, franchise. Yeah, if he lives up to his potential, yeah. absolutely. But Max, Molly just Molly, Max just brought up a guy from mm -hmm. France that Phil Jackson never even saw before he drafted him. Yeah, I know. I know. He's trying to get to you. I see what he's doing. And he's saying they don't need a free agent. I know what this not I know right the now, spin not yet. that he's coming up with. No, they don't need Kevin Durant. Well, You're they right. won't get they him don't. anyway, so I'm trying to make you feel better. All right, guys. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.